The web portal allows you to manage your Notify Plus service settings from the internet with your computer. After you've logged in to the web portal service, select the My Settings tab. Click Notify in the Categories section. The Web Portal Notify Plus Service Administration is divided into four sections Phone Books, Announcements, Settings, and Jobs. The Phone Book section is used to manage the phone numbers, text addresses, or email addresses that will be contacted by the Notify Plus Service. This information is grouped into Phone Books for ease of management. The Phone Book section contains two lists. The left-hand list is used to manage the subscriber's Notify Plus phone books, and the right-hand list is used to manage the phone numbers, email, and text addresses that are in the currently selected phone book. To add a new phone book, press the Add button located below the Select a Phone Book list. An empty Add Phone Book window will be displayed. Enter a short description of the phone book in the description field of the Add Phone Book window. This description will be used to identify this phone book in other Notify Plus service interfaces to be covered later in this video. A minimum of one phone book address must be added to the phone book before it can be used in a job. To delete a phone book, select the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and press the Delete button below the list. A Delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Choose OK in the prompt to complete the deletion. To add a single address to a phone book, select the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and press the Add button below the selected phone book list. An Add Address Entry window will be displayed. Select the address type, either phone number or email or text address, and then enter the 10-digit phone number or email or text address into the address field. You can also enter an optional name or description of the address into the description field. Finally press the Add button to add the entered address into the phone book. Files containing multiple phone numbers and email or text addresses can be imported into the phone book section. To do this, select the phone book to which the addresses will be added and press the Import button below the selected phone book list. When the Import button is pressed, a standard file selection window will be displayed. From within this window, select the CSV file that contains the addresses to be imported and press the Open button. The valid addresses in the selected file will be added to the selected phone book list. When setting up a spreadsheet for importing lists, the Import List spreadsheet should include columns A, B, and C, with appropriate information required in columns A and C. Column B can be left blank, but must be included in your import list. All addresses in a phone book can be exported to a CSV, TXT, or XML file by selecting the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and pressing the Export button below the selected phone book list. A standard Save As window will be displayed, allowing a file type and location to be specified for the addresses that will be exported. Once the file name and type of file have been entered, Press the Save button to complete the file export. All addresses in the selected phone book will be included in the export. Please note that the export function is a good way to create a template that places contact information in the appropriate fields that you can use for future lists in new phone books. The Announcements section is used to manage the announcement audio files that are available to be played for notification calls. The easiest way to record announcements is by calling the Notify Plus administration number and following the audio prompt directions for recording new announcements. For further information on this, please refer to page 5 of the User Guide document for further instructions on navigating the phone administration menu. Please contact our office if you need a copy of this user guide. The service allows for up to 20 announcements in your announcement library and are numbered 0 through 19. 
Once the announcements have been recorded, you can access them from the web portal and by using the Edit button can rename the announcements. To add a new announcement audio file from your computer, press the Add button in the Announcements section. An Add Announcement window will be displayed. Enter descriptive text of the announcement into the description field. This description will be used to identify the announcement in Notify Plus service interfaces. Next, press the Browse button next to the File field to open a standard file selection window. Use the file selection window to locate and select the .wav audio file that will be used as the new announcement and press the Open button. The path to the selected .wav file will be displayed in the File field. Press the Add button to complete the addition. To change the description of an announcement, select the announcement and press the Edit button. An Edit Announcement window with the current announcement description will be shown. Press the Save button after editing is completed to apply the new descriptive text. To remove an announcement audio file, select the file in the Announcements section and press the Delete button located below the list of announcements. A Delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Press the OK button in the prompt to complete the deletion. Announcement files that are currently being used by a job cannot be deleted. The Play Sound and Volume control can be used to play the announcement selected in the Announcements section. Settings. The General tab of the Settings section of Notify Plus contains settings that apply to all Notify Plus jobs. The Send Jobs Reports to this email address field is used to add or delete email addresses to which the job reports will be sent. The Email Subject is the text that you can type in that will appear in the subject line of your phone book contacts that are sent email notifications. Redial delay allows you to select in minutes the amount of time you want the service to wait before it attempts to redial phone book contacts who haven't successfully received the recorded announcement. Double redial delay allows you to double the redial delay time between every attempt related to the redial delay feature. Admin Access Password allows you to edit your access password when you use the Notify Plus Access phone numbers to call in to record your announcements. The preamble played before announcement setting option is used to select an audio file to be played before every announcement. This is also identified as introduction message when you call the Notify Plus administrative number to record your announcements. This option could be used to meet FCC robocall requirements that will be discussed later in this video or it could be used as a generic introduction for the main notification message. To select an audio file, press the green plus button in this field. A standard file selection window will be displayed. Locate and select the .wav audio file that will be played and press the open button. To delete the current audio file that is being played, press the red button in this field. The play sound and volume control can be used to listen to the preamble. You can also use the notify access number to record your preamble announcement. This announcement will be identified in the record administration menu as introduction message. The Notify Access Numbers tab displays the list of phone numbers that end users may dial to record their Notify Plus announcements and to listen to their announcements. Important note, you may be subject to FCC requirements to use the opt-out option and to record the name of your company in the preamble announcement if your jobs are purely for sales or telemarketing calls. 
failure to do so may violate the FCC Report Order Number 02-278. The FCC requires additional reporting for these types of calls. There are exemptions to this order that include political, nonprofit, and informational reminder notifications. Refer to the FCC.gov website and search order number 02-278 for further guidance. Jobs. The Jobs section is used to add, delete, and manage Notify Plus notification jobs. The left-hand side of the Jobs section contains a list of all the jobs that you have created. Selecting a job in the list will display its settings, call status, and exceptions in the tabs on the right-hand side of the Jobs section. To delete a scheduled or finished job from the service, click on the specific job in the Select a Job window and click on the Delete button. You will then receive a prompt asking to verify the deletion. Click OK to complete the deletion. To add a new Notify Plus job, press the Add button to open the Schedule a New Job window. The properties defining the jobs are as follows. Description. Here you can enter some text describing the job. Use phone book. Select the phone book that contains the list of phone numbers and email or text addresses that will be contacted by this job. Play announcement. Select the announcement that will be played when this job's calls are answered. If you only want to send a text message or email with no announcement, select None. Email subject. Here text can be entered that will appear in the subject line of your phone book contacts that are sent email notifications. Text message. Here you can enter the text message that will be sent to phone book entries if the address type of the entry is an email or text address. Begin date. Enter the date on which this job will begin contacting phone numbers and email or text addresses in the selected phone book. End date. Enter the last day on which this job will contact phone numbers and email or text addresses in the selected phone book. Daily start. Enter the earliest time of day that a notification job can be run. The default for this setting is 8 a.m. Please contact our office if you need to change the default time. Daily end. Enter the latest time of day that a notification job can run. The default for this setting is 9 p.m. Please contact our office if you need to change the default time. Retries. Enter the number of times the job will redial each phone number that has not successfully answered a call. Select zero and the number will be called just once. Redial delay. You can select in minutes the amount of time you want the service to wait before it attempts to redial phone book contacts who haven't successfully received the recorded announcement. Double redial delay. You can double the redial delay time between every attempt related to the redial delay feature. Calls per hour limit. You can limit the service to call from 1 to 999 contacts per hour who you are sending recorded messages to. Minimum successful call time. Enter the minimum number of seconds the announcement must be played when a call is placed for the call to be considered successful. Send email when job finishes. 
set to yes to have the Notify Plus service send an email report when this job is complete. If you need to change or delete the email addresses, please go to the Settings section of the web portal. Enable Digit Response. Setting this option to Yes will allow the called person to press a digit on the phone in response to a notification announcement. For example, press 1 if you agree, press 2 if you disagree. The press digit will be displayed in the job report email. Transfer enabled. Set to yes to enable transfer of the call to a phone number or another subscribe service such as voicemail when a digit on the phone is pressed. This setting will be disabled if enable digit response is set to no. Transfer digit. Choose the digit on the phone that can be pressed to transfer the call. This setting will be disabled if transfer enabled is set to no. Transfer type. Choose the type of transfer that will occur. Options include phone number or service such as voicemail. This setting will be disabled if transfer enabled is set to no. Transfer to. The target of the call transfer. If the transfer type is phone number, then a 10-digit directory number must be entered in the field, which includes the area code. If the transfer type is service, then a subscribed service like voicemail must be selected. This setting will be disabled if transfer enabled is set to no, and is required if transfer enabled is set to yes. Enable opt-out. Select to yes to give callers the option of opting out of future notification jobs. Select No to disable the opt-out option. Opt-out digit. The digit that called numbers can press to opt out of future job calls from your account. Click on Schedule to create the new job entry. Completed, scheduled, and in progress jobs. The progress of an ongoing or finished job can be viewed by selecting the job in the selected job list and clicking on the Status tab. The top of the Status tab contains a list of all the addresses in the phone book being used by the selected job and the current call status of each address. The lower section of the status tab shows the overall state of the current job and also has a row of buttons used to control the state of the job and the list of addresses. The resume button is used to continue the job if it has been paused. The pause button suspends the job if it is in progress. The cancel button completely stops the job if it is running or prevents the job from running in the future if it is scheduled. The refresh button retrieves the latest call status data from the system. Job exceptions. The exceptions tab is used to manage the list of phone numbers or email or text addresses that should not be contacted if they are found in the phone book associated with this job. To add a job exception, press the Add button in the Exceptions tab. An Add Exception Entry form will be displayed. Select the address type, either phone number or email or text address, and enter the phone number or email or text address in the Address field and press the Add button to complete the entry. Exceptions can be removed from the Exceptions tab by selecting them and pressing the Delete button at the bottom of the tab. Please note that phone numbers or email or text addresses that are added or deleted from the Exceptions list are not permanently removed from the phone book. This concludes the video on setting up and running your Notify Plus service. If you have additional questions or you would like a printed copy of this user guide, please contact our office.